Hey guys, welcome to Draw Kings. I'm Pat. And I'm Evan. In today's episode, we are drawing our own avatars. Profile pics, guys. Yep, for, for all social media, I shall be using the avatar I've drawn tonight, as will Evan. Oh man, yeah, see, Pat's upset because I wanted to change some stuff on my avatar. <laughs> but it's not because I don't like my avatar, it's only because I want to enhance it. But yeah. You know, yeah. well, so, so so do we all. It's not like it's like you you came out of your parents and your mom was like, God, I think I could have done better. Yeah, you know what? She, I <laughs> she think she could have too. I think she could have too. But you know what? It's just just the way it happens. Yeah, well, well I, I think, think it could be a stronger piece with some popping highlights on God, it. God, yeah. I mean, I would love my child no matter what he looked like. But oh, I, I mean, my highlights are perfect. <laughs> Who I am. Yeah, my highlights as a human being are perfect. But I was talking about my picture, which is imperfect. So as you may notice, um, we did not show you the drawing phase um but let let me put your minds at ease we did not draw these freehand entirely we took funny pictures of ourselves and then we traced them and then we revised or refined the tracing it's still a totally original piece and they aren't exactly the way that the photos were taken they're just we just use guides yeah, yeah. we wanted to spare you that process so what we're doing is we're showing you us creating the line work and then coloring our pieces in. So yeah, well, we're in the future we're probably going to do a ten-hour um, Draw Kings episode. Yeah. You know, as, as as much as the YouTube can hold, you know, a YouTube yeah. episode can hold. I don't know if ten hours is something that they can do. I've never seen a ten-hour video. I, I've seen music for ten hours. They do like repeats, really of the movie themes. Yeah, if you go on, like, is, it, up, like, is it a playlist though? Yeah, it was like Indiana Jones on repeat for ten hours or something. Interesante. Exactly. So what we could do is we could have a drawing marathon and just put it for ten hours. Do you think very many people would watch? I mean, <laughs> I, mean I mean, I'm like, I'm hopeful we get five people to watch this episode. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Out of the people who have watched our things, I'm, I'm imagining there's like one old guy maybe across the world in like a little hut and he watches our show. Yeah. And then there's like three kindergartner, you know, three middle school girls that watch it. Yeah. And then maybe like two people that you know aren't those people. I mean, there's there's some people I know that watch it on a regular basis. Yeah, I'll, I'll shout I'll shout out. Yeah, have someone. a shout out, man. So I recently learned that my friend Annie Reale, she she who is also a designer, by the way, she designs, she okay. draws, she's got a website. Um, I don't know if it's AnnieReale.com, so I'm sorry if this shout out is unprepared and horrible. But it's okay. You can search her, I'm sure. She's very cool. She, I'm doing it right now. I'm doing the searching right now. She watches our episodes every week, so thank you very much, Annie, for that. And what about you? Do you have anyone that, that watches? Um, yeah, I got, a couple, I got a couple friends that watch it or say they watch it, so, you know. Um, you know, we got Sharon Mulhern watches our show. Oh yeah, I mean, I guess yeah, that's our a mutual. Dual, it's that's a mutual a, friend. That's a mutual too, but... shout out. So yeah, hey, she hey, watches. Shout out to Sharon for watching the show. That's pretty sweet. You know, we'd love, we'd love to get, you know, feedback. some crowd, yeah, some feedback. We'd love to get, you know, input. If you guys have any ideas for episodes that we could do, um, it's not like we're running out of ideas necessarily, but um, you know, we're getting more and more interested in doing. Um, specials and yeah, stuff. Yeah, things that things that really show um, something creative or clever, or things that we really need. And I realized that I'm using a profile picture that I used for a long time. It's me with a guitar, and um, so I decided that what I really need is to have a a all around profile uh, social media picture. That shows that I draw. That and what I better notice. way to do that than have a drawing up there? Yeah, and it's perfect for so. draw kings too. I think. Um, you know, this is similar to last week. You guys um, get to see us do something sort of from start to finish, but I think we are a little more cavalier with this. Yeah, I think so um, too. You know, we, we played a lot more with how we were going to do this and I did mine and then Evan showed up and, and his, his, I love Evan. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's so, it's so good. Um, and I like mine too a lot, which is why I'm going to use it. Yeah, I, I love yours, Pat, because when I, I walked in while Pat was doing the highlighting and the mm -hmm. coloring, and it was just popped out. But when he when he added the final highlights, that's when the, the picture just came together. Mm. Um, I mean, it was like, and I also I, I also give Pat props for doing something that's in the spirit of Patrick, like <laughs> walking in and seeing like this dude version of Patrick with his pen up to the screen. I like it. I think it's good. Yeah. Like me, um, you know, I'm more arrogant than Pat, so I'm, that's not true. That is, I you are not more arrogant than me. I just think that um, your drawings are more arrogant. <laughs> exactly, my drawings are more arrogant. All right, fine. We'll rephrase that. My art, my art's more arrogant, or is more arrogant than that. So, um, 
So I did like a communist, communist Russia, communist China what? sort of throwback. It's, it's a propaganda poster. I love propaganda yeah, posters. Yeah, they're, they're so cool. I'm so, I love the colors. The I love red, the design. The, I, that's what I always used to do in design school is I always used to use those sort of propaganda, like um, the diagonal straight lines and the red and dark the red. The rays. Light, right? Yeah. My teachers always hated me for it. They, you know, they don't. They're they're really against color in design school. It's interesting. They always want something that's really muted and not, you know, not overdone. And I understand. I think why. I, I think I. I think I know why too. I think it's what happens is you know you you get so it's like how when I first started drawing I didn't understand why abstract art had an appeal. I didn't right. get why people liked it. And then after you draw for a while or you paint for a while, you start getting sick of doing approaching things the same way at least i did mm -hmm. and then i'm like oh that's why you could play with color you could have a whole painting that's just you experiencing color right. it isn't even like an image it's the image is your thought process on color i think i think the teachers that work at design schools one of their biggest problems i think is that um they've got all these new students that are coming in and they know you know red yellow green orange you know all of those and they don't really know anything about how to select colors and whatever and so if they create a poster that is colorful they're going to, you know, rip, you know, just the oh, standard yeah. colors and they're not going to understand it and it's not going to it's not going to work well as a composition and so they as a general rule just tell everyone not to use crazy colors. It, it was actually really funny. One time I had a professor uh, say my tattoo sucked, which is pretty cool. Which tattoo was that? Uh, the one on my shoulder. I don't know uh, what that looks like. Oh well, it's like an emblem. It's like my, it's like my logo. Oh, here. your your logo. I my think you emblem. Showed, you showed me that on your. Um, you have he has yeah, a yeah. he has a seal, a family crest that he created. I have. It's like a personal crest. Right, right. It, I, it, it's for, like it doesn't include anything from the family crest. It's just me. It's my like just symbol. It's not really even a. Yeah, it's just like a design. We right? both have legit family crests, but but yeah, this one isn't. But really this is the one that he created. Yeah, I remember that. The um, and it has the arsenic sort of symbol. It looks like you know. It looks like it's um, everyone from far away. Everyone thinks it's a Mason symbol. Oh, the That's Freemason. A, it looks the, like a Freemason yeah. symbol, but it's not. It's not a Freemason symbol. Cool. But uh, yeah, everyone was like, "Hey, you're a Mason." Nah, no, nah, I'm not. What I mean, you should have let you should have let that go on a little more. I mean, I mean, the benefits of you being a Mason. I mean, are substantial. My, I found out my the other day. My grandpa's a mason. I mean, you hear stories, you know, of, but it's of like a fraternity. underground. Yeah, I know. I think it's a lot less involved and crazy than than it was uh, maybe two hundred, three hundred right, years ago. And then it seemed like it is. But I mean, you always see movies and stuff where they, they there's like secret tunnels and and, and, and rituals and satanic right. circles. Or you know, I think it was probably like a mix of both. I think that most of the time it was probably the most innocent thing. It's like sort of like a hey, let's just get together and make a tribe out of this. And then, you know, let's make a fan club, you know, for, for people in the same profession or something. You know, you know. speaking of let's get together and make a tribe, um, I, I, I don't know why I'm going off. On okay, this. yeah, I'm interested. I'm really interested in this now. But I, I was watching Bill Maher the other day, and this woman was on, and they, they, they said she was funny. She wasn't really funny. But one of the things she said really pissed me off and resonated with me is that this, um, the crises that are currently all over the place, you know, uh, uh, global warming, especially, right? Um, oil prices. I have, a, I have a confession to make. I'm, I'm actually responsible for global warming. So I can, I can first, from firsthand say that it is real. Okay. So all I'm of the problems that Evan has caused to America. Yes. Absolutely. Um, I'm sorry, guys. Every, every single one of those terrible things that Evan did. Yeah, all of them. Um, every one of them. Anyway, their, their perspective is that it is our problem, not theirs, because they're going to be dead before shit hits the fan. But the fact is, for us, right, I'm 27. Right, but there are people that are younger. For us, 2050, even though it's a long way away, it's something that we will see. Okay, most of us will see, and we're going to like, we're going to see some stuff that is really you know catastrophic. Um, Absolutely. To say the oh, least. Yeah. oh yeah, and we're I just really catastrophic. And so I'm like, bad things. so I'm thinking, you know, how difficult is it to to put people in power that are you know more representative of what the future will look like you know the people that will be dealing with these problems you know I, I think it's right to say that it is our problem but i think it's wrong to say that we've been you know we've let our our you know we haven't done enough and i think and i think that's a problem because i don't think the people that are in command right now will let go of the reins even though they won't be here when the problem 
Star. I mean, this is this invites a whole discussion with many levels to it. But it just the, the only reason I brought it up is because I was thinking, like, how hard would it be to convince a large number of people, a large number of Americans, withdrawings. to back to propaganda <laughs> withdrawings. That's where this is where it's going. <laughs> well, propaganda. I mean, I guys, we need to go back to drawing propaganda, and that's why we do. That's why we do these shows because this takes our <laughs> mind off of the real problems. Yeah, you know, the only problems we can control. Yeah, I guess I didn't. I didn't have a. Uh, a, a very straightforward thought process with that. I just wanted to, I was just curious because there's, there's so many people that are saying, oh, okay, I've got the answer. I've got this, I've got that. Right. And so they probably have like, they each have, you know, a hundred followers or something like that. What would it take to have one person or one group consolidate all of that so that there's, there's one sort of chat room or one sort of voice where every single person who is below the age of whatever can, you know, bands together and actually be heard by people who are fucking up our world. Well, I mean, there's a simple solution to it. It's, um, you go into a wardrobe and go to a land called Narnia because that doesn't exist. Yeah, you're right. You're it right. Doesn't I mean, exist that's true. Here. I mean, it, it would take a lot to convince everyone across America that you're a reliable leader or something like that. Yeah, I mean, it's hard. I mean, I think there's just, there's just too many implications. There's a lot of implications that go beyond the... The, the straightforward stuff. Yeah, it's it's it, I I don't know. There's layers. It's scary nonetheless. It is always scary. I, th I think it's I think every generation faces a scary truth. But this is different. I mean, they, they, uh, I mean, they mainstream about... scientists are talking about you know really really serious changes happening that are going to make our lives much more difficult. And the fact is, we still have people in politics that can't agree to fund a vital portion of government because the one section wants to put in a clause for, you know, getting rid of illegal immigration. And one section, you know, it's just all, you know, they're still talking about Keystone Pipeline, how it creates jobs and all. It just seems like all of their priorities are about making money and about yeah, well, I, I think you, I think you just kind of put it down there. I mean, I mean, it comes down to human selfishness in the end, and mm -hmm. and no matter how how dignified a person is, they're they're still subject to you know human wants and needs and desires. And I think being selfish is inherent in most people. But, I, I, I'm sorry, I, I I know that I don't like doing the whole education thing. No, no, it's especially. fine. I mean, I mean. You know, I, I was about to talk about ancient Egyptian politics, and you know, yeah, you know something about ancient. Yeah, Egyptian absolutely. Politics. Well, you know, I mean, Horus was a big part of that, so you know, Horus is a god. yeah, yeah, Horus is a god, and so he controlled when the Nile flooded. So people had a pretty straightforward thing. So what we need is, saying. you know, we just need like a river god to to make yeah. things easy for us. You know, and, sun and god, river god. Maybe the way that we get him is by is by sacrificing. Um, no, I think it's a little. Extreme. Isn't that what the Egyptians did? No, they I just sacrifice shit. To yeah, they, 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 no, they, that's, they that's, put a bunch no, that's, of no, no, it's the Mayans. And the oh, okay, Aztecs. the Mayans and the Aztecs. Yeah, like, very many thousands of years. So apart. the Egyptians weren't into sacrifice. No, the Egyptians didn't sacrifice. That's people. interesting. I didn't realize. I mean, no, they were like a, they were an economic empire. I mean, they were in contact with many other empires. The Incans and the Mayans were in contact with tri other tribes, but the that's amount of the too. amount of trade that went on between the Egyptians and the rest of the world was like, you know, it was unheard of at that yeah. time. Yeah. So, but back to draw kings. <laughs> yeah, sorry, went off, off, history. A, went off on kind of a fucked up tangent there. Uh, so Pat's about to poke us in the eye with his drawing pen in the picture. Yeah, he's about to go in and, and poke our eye. I, I like this. I think that, I think that even though you could have stopped at this level of shading, I'm glad you went the extra step because that, like what I said in the beginning, the pop. That you get from the yeah, shirt I mean, collar. it does make it kind of um, you know porcelain doll like, but uh, I don't I don't know if that's necessarily a huge problem. No, it's not a it's not a huge problem. It already kind of looks you know it's like a, it's kind of an ugly sort of you know horsey looking thing. So it's already kind of funny looking. No, I, so I, I think yeah, but it's a character, but too. I like it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, I I acknowledge that it is not the most attractive representation of myself. But it looks cool and it's funny, and so I thought maybe doing the highlights it wouldn't be that big of a deal. Making it more porcelain esque isn't really compromising the picture because the picture is already stupid as hell. You know, <laughs> I would really like that. I would like that at like an art exhibit. You know, my pictures are stupid as hell. Yeah. So, so please, can you take a look at look at these pieces? Just tell me how stupid you think they are. Yeah, for reals. That'd be a great. That'd be a great angle. Guys, I just want you to check out my art and see how stupid it is. Yeah. I mean, like, I have a certain level of stupidity that I apply to it, but, yeah. you know, like, what do you guys think? What's your opinion on this? You cannot critique me because I have already said this sucks. 
<laughs> oh no, 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 you want their critique, but like they can't undo it. Actually, the best thing they could do is, you know, this is actually pretty good. No, it's not. You're yeah, you're wrong. right. That, it's like you're starting from rock bottom, so it, you've got you've got nowhere else to fall. It's so all psychology. you can do is improve. Exactly. It's like, hey guys, come check out my shitty drawings, and they're and like, you know, this is kind of. A, I said they were shitty, and then you, you know, could actually start like a whole art movement like that because it's so outlandish and so. Uh, you know, so counterculture. I'm sure you're going to attract a huge audience of people. Like, yeah, so purposefully it, horrible. No, 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 not purposely our drawings. You you say your shit is horrible when it's really oh, I not. See. So but it's that's not, not an art movement. But it's it's, a... it's not self deprecation though. It's actually like you convince yourself that the pieces suck, and you don't really spend that much time on them. You just you enjoy them for what yeah. they are, and then yeah. you you put them up, and people enjoy them. Speaking of not spending very much time on something. If you guys remember the banner that was just uh, the, our, our banner, um, normally it takes me a little bit of time. Like I, I spend time before Evan gets here doing the banner. And this time we were about to start filming. And we and realized we had no banner. We realized we had no banner. And, on, and, and I had learned a couple tricks from last time that I employed a little bit. But it came out really great. I might, you know, we were considering, you know, that banner being a consistent sort of thing. Yeah, it's great. I, I like it. I Just think it, the, the number, the, the video number and the backdrop. And yeah, it's pretty tight. And I'm, I'm kind of glad that we added the uh, Roman numerals this time. Yeah, Kind of cool. mix it up. Mix it up. Yeah. for 13, we could have like 13 cookies. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I keep going back to yeah, that. Yeah, cookies. Cookies, yeah. 13 Do you cookies. know what's funny? If we hadn't taken any breaks, okay, like we, we, didn't, we didn't miss a week here and there. Yeah. Our 13th episode would have fallen on Friday the 13th. That's really good. Yeah. That's pretty good. That would have been cool. Well, we avoided an accident. I we guess so. We would have so. both died. But the, the, the fuck, that, I mean, honestly. Jason would have come to watch it and kill I delivered. I delivered my college humor um, drawings on Friday the 13th. Oh, really? Yeah, that was the that was the day when they were due. I stayed up all night and I did it and it was Friday the 13th. That was not the only Friday. For some reason, I thought it was longer. I thought it was a long time ago. It, I mean, it's, it's pretty recent. It was only like two weeks ago. That's crazy. I don't know why. I don't. I feel like time has either yeah. flown or stood still the past month. February is a really weird month. Yeah, I mean, I've been I've been like going nuts trying to write. You know, which is is I love writing, and Evan loves writing too. I wish I could read and write. <laughs> I've you, been trying so hard. He just got the see. That's that's why Evan is so is so miserable half the time because he he writes amazing stories and then he can't read them. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's such a good character, a character that writes good stories and he can't read. Them. Oh man, um, that would make that makes no sense, but that's great. And yeah. That's why I love it. It makes absolutely no sense. Oh, so you, you guys see this? So Evan Evans is so much more creative. I oh, think. stop! It's he not went true. into the he went into the like we said the propaganda posters, and you know we 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 were playing around. We we, we looked through pictures and stuff, and you know um, he picked out you know different scenes and castles and stuff that he liked. So why did you want to do the pterodactyls? So okay, so first off, I just want to like preface this. I, I despise selfies. Um, I thought selfies <laughs> yeah. were cool maybe like when they first started and I'm not trying to sound stupid and annoying but it, they've gotten out of hand and people just yeah. think by taking a picture of themselves that it's a good picture or that it's worthwhile mm -hmm. um, yes it's an opinion and if you feel good about yourself I'm, I'm probably more happy for you than me but you know um, <laughs> I feel I feel like you know when you when you do a portrait and especially a quick portrait or, or sort of like this avatar it's sort of like a selfie and you want right, to want right. you know you want to have something that that's a little bit more representative of not only the the, the picture the you're taking, right. but like sort of you can you can bend the rules a bit. So well, yeah, what 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 defines what you like and what you're into and yeah, I mean, other than this is like a clear statement that I want to rule the world. <laughs> exactly. um, it also shows my love for dinosaurs and probably that that my first you know act in power would probably bring them back. Yeah, um, that's the Kremlin in the background, by the way. He will plan on. Uh, See, I, I was hoping, <laughs> I was hoping that it wouldn't even come off. I just wanted to like have some important building in the back, oh, and I, I felt like if I put like you know something from the U.S., it would lose its effect. I mean, I, that's a great building. Oh, it's a cool looking building, I mean, but that's I, iconic. But too. I kind of also want to make it like fantasy. It could be any building. It is fantasy. I mean, I guess I kind of you know ruined it by saying that's the Kremlin. It's okay, Pat. I mean, many ruin the things. <laughs> you know, yeah. one day I can forget you. Um, so <laughs> it would help to have like a show director that's like, no, like he's like, we he's need like a guy. We need a guy behind the screen. This is don't no. don't say those things. Like shut go, up. Go in another direction. Evan kind of operates in that way, though. You you honestly, and sometimes 
like regularly. Um, I I test it like because <laughs> I know that he's testing me. So he, I don't want Pat to get into politics, yeah, and he just goes so into it. Like, I'm like, oh, every um, single time I do, Evans like he he finds some funny way to like change topics or change courses because like it's just like a horrible thing to do. Pat, Pat's like, so now I'm just doing it intentionally. <laughs> Pat's like. So did you hear about so and so talking about <laughs> about this new law that was passed? And I was like, listen, yeah, let's look at the I mean, I mean, by the way, Pat, have you heard about horses? How incredible they are! <laughs> yeah, you know, great. Yeah, stuff. I mean, you're great at that, honestly. Horse hair uh, toothbrushes. It's just, it's almost worth like wasting the audience's <laughs> time just to like fuck with you. <laughs> let's get into politics. Let's get into how, politics. How long actually, will it take? actually, did did you hear about there's a sale about ovens? <laughs> Still, it's a Bed Bath and Beyond. Oh my God, <laughs> that's great! That's great news. Thank you for telling us. I picked up these really ripe tomatoes the other day. Do you do you find that your your tomatoes are riper than usual? This my season? tomatoes are always ripe. Your tomatoes? My tomatoes are always ripe. Pat's tomatoes? I've yeah. It's, it's what are they called? called? Patties? It's called patty booms. Clumpy. <laughs> <laughs> called, Pat, Patty, yeah, Patty Boom Booms. Yeah, yeah Patty Boom Booms, <laughs> and yeah. So um, when they're pluralized, they're Boom Booms. Pluralized. When they're single, it's Boom. Oh, it's Boom. Okay. Yeah. So you can have a Boom or a Boom or Boom Booms. And when you get them in a box, it's called the Boom Box. Yeah, the Boom Box. Yeah, there you go. That's right. I'll yep. get a bo- I'll get a box of Boom. I'll get a Boom Box. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I get a box of Boom Box. I would get a box of Boom Box. <laughs> Jeez. Um, yeah, you know that. You know that tickles my funny bone. It you tickles know? your funny, dude. Your funny bone's sticking now. You gotta put it away. Oh, you're so sorry. indecent. <laughs> yeah. Actually, by the way, mine. My, you know what your funny bone actually is, right? It's your yes. ulnar nerve. It's not a bone. It's, it's a, a nerve. It's a nerve. Yeah, mine sticks out. Actually, I have I have ulnar nerve That's displacement. That's terrible. Yeah, I I, uh, I injured myself like maybe about eight nine years ago, and my ulnar nerve floats in my arm. And there's a surgery for it called Tommy John's. I never got it because I'm kind of against it. And, uh, but for like about a year, I had that, uh, funny bone numbness in my arm the entire, all day, really? every day, all day, every That's day. That's, te- and does it, does it trigger every once in a while? No, I don't actually have feeling from that, from the, I don't get that anymore. Like if I bust that nerve, I don't feel it anymore. That's but, cool. but what is annoying is when I'm working out, it snaps if I go mm. in certain positions. It's called, they, it's related to a bunch of other things, but it's very annoying. So that must have been a pretty terrible injury. I did it to myself, actually. I was, I was having a fake boxing match with a friend and mm. I, I guess just you know didn't stretch back then and i and i punched really hard and and the arm kind of came out farther than the tendon did so it stretched the whole thing out i've i mean i've had a similar um i broke my collar. have hard. you ever broken your collarbone no i have not i broke my collarbone and let me tell you it's the worst thing you can break because you, you know you need your collarbone you know when when you cough when you breathe when yeah it's when, a, you, it's when a, you move it's it's always it's in the, it's probably one of the most essential parts of the shoulder girl. right exactly and and the the fucked up thing is, first of all, I broke it on a, a bag um, during football. Oh, shit. Uh, one of those dummies. I, I went to tackle it, and I jumped too high, and so I just I sort of sh- overshot it and then landed on the ground. See, that's why I'm anti-football, man. I'm, I'm pro-ninja anti-football. Don't <laughs> smash into the other guy. Make him miss you when he's trying mm-hmm. to smash you. Exactly. Into you, and then stab him ruthlessly while he's on the ground. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the, the refs are getting better at taking knives away before the game. <laughs> But every hey, once get that in a knife while, out of your teeth. <laughs> so get that knife that. out of your teeth. I can see that. We're we're only gonna we're shooting for like one to two deaths. Does that kid have a flintlock pistol? <laughs> <laughs> no guns. <laughs> it's gotta be ancient guns though. It can't be modern guns. Yeah, that that no. just wouldn't be fair. This is a football game. This is like this is family. Imagine, fun. imagine someone holding up. Imagine holding up a fast food restaurant with a pirate <laughs> pistol to <laughs> show up in the drive thru with a smoking flintlock pistol. Oh, you know oh, the man. fuse is going down. Yeah. Right now. <laughs> you you know, know what I'd rather do? I'd rather walk into a fast food. Oh, I'm not saying I would rather do any of these. Well, things. no, I'm not going mean, to do them. Oh. What I'm saying is what I what I would rather see. Okay, that's is someone walk into a fast food thing with a little butter knife, like and like act like totally serious, like they, they're gonna yeah, just, get up, get on the ground, seriously. I'm, like he just points it at random people, and people like don't know what to do. Yeah, they don't know what to do because it's like doll. It's not very. <laughs> You know, like actually, there's stuff in the in the restaurant that's far more dangerous than that. Yeah, night. right. Exactly. Like everyone's like, "Well, wow, my fork's sharper than that. I'm but, gonna just stab this guy with the fork." Right. But, but it's I'd really be curious, it's they probably yeah, they probably get on the ground and like let you rob the damn place. Yeah, I think so. I think most people would just be like, "It's not my problem." You know, right. it's like, like you take whatever you want. I'm right. taking stuff. My wife's been putting all the silverware in her purse the entire mm-hmm. night, so I don't really care about this place <laughs> either. But um, you know, it's 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 more than that. It's more than that. Well, I wouldn't put it past a 
you know, a guy to, to who's totally packed, like to the nine, like he's got tons of guns, right? But he goes in with a butter knife just to see who's a hero. Or something. Well, I think that, but I think it's also a good test about confidence, not be able to respond to confidence. You know, if you confidently tell somebody that you have something and you manipulate them just yeah. by the way you say it, that just shows you the power of, uh, of manipulation and also the prevalence of stupidity. Yeah. Yeah, we should teach a confidence class where that's the first like, thing. <laughs> where you must go into this McDonald's with a butter knife. We, we start the class by walking into the room and pretending we're not the professors and throwing and a guest over yeah. and, and <laughs> fucking with everybody. Like, what the hell do you think you're doing? Get the hell out of this class. Yeah. And, then, and then, you know, if they stand up to you, that's who you know gets, right, they're right. going to be a promising student. And if they're not, you can teach them. You can put the power back in their hands, mm -hmm. you know, by playing Rage Against the Machine for the entire, you know. That the always life. does it. That Dude, I, I listen to Rage when I need to get my confidence on, you know. You were singing uh, System of Down earlier. Yeah, I was. We, I, you know, we had a we had a really nice moment where he started it and I finished it. Mm -hmm. That was that was. It was cool. Ariel's. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was. I, I was ready. It's a good song too. I mean, the, and there there was that weird kid in the video with the. You know, I've never seen that video. Really? No, I've never seen the video. I've actually seen none of their videos. I've only watched, I've just listened to the music. So wait, are you somebody that is opposed to? No, I'm not. I just haven't seen. Their, I I probably see music videos for for music I don't like at all. Mm -hmm. Metallica for a long time refused to shoot a music video because they thought it would be symbolic of them selling out. And then after they did it, they, they hooked up with this guy, Bob Rock, who then started producing all their albums, which is why they got like, you know, re fucking reload and load and all that. Anyway, um, after they shot the very first one, that's all they ever did. They never left the camera. There was always a camera watching them when they were Yeah, they got addicted. They, they, yeah, and everything. So now there's like a million Metallica DVDs, like this album recorded, this album recorded. Oh, it's just them around their trailer. I mean, I mean it's them It's them doing every aspect of, of what they do. And it's because they're addicted to it now. They just love staring into that camera. There's uh, there's some, uh, we're also having a conversation or a moment uh, talking about how, uh, how to judge good and bad music. And I was trying to say that I think it's uh, wrong for somebody to say, you know, you know, everyone listens or, or watches movies for different reasons. Sometimes I watch a really bad movie because it's funny to watch. Mm -hmm. So you can listen to cheesy music to make yourself yeah. laugh, you know. And uh, who says it's cheesy anyway? It's something that it you... is cheesy. I mean, there's some really there's music, but sometimes but the people, I guess the people who take it seriously, it, it's silly. But you know, if you listen to something for an effect, whether it be for humor or for you know pumping you up or you know getting emotional. It doesn't really matter. You're still listening to it for a reason. Yeah. Um, so I was going to say there's this really hilarious pirate metal band. I can't I, Oh, uh, Swashbuckle? No, Ailstorm. Have you heard of Swashbuckle? No, dude. We're going to have a that's, pirate metal exchange yeah, right now. I will listen to Swashbuckle. One. You listen to Ailstorm. Yeah. They actually have some decent songs, but their older music is... Uh, they're all, it's not that it's bad. It's just... It's ridiculous. That's do you want to Do you want to try and play? No, I don't want to play it on, on the show. Yeah, they. I don't know if they I feel like I feel like that it it's bad. Oh, don't put Google in front. We're advertising for them now. No, they can't see what they can't see this screen. Oh, they can't we're, see that. Thing. No, we're no because I'm I'm getting. Oh yeah, we're not doing the live feeds anymore. Right. Yeah, we we switched our methods of filming. Plus, we only have two minutes left. Let's let's just close it up on a strong point. No music. Okay. So let's talk about these. Uh, these well, you actually asked me before about. Um, well, you love dinosaurs. Yeah, the dinosaurs. Well, actually, pterodactyls aren't dinosaurs. What? They're they're flying reptiles. They're not dinosaurs. It's like uh, how sea creatures existed back then, but they weren't dinosaurs. Same thing goes for oh, yeah. pterodactyls. Yeah, I mean, we can just call them that, but they really aren't dinosaurs. And dinosaurs and dinosaurs are separate from reptiles. But, I mean, yeah, they, they're, they're actually uh, they're actually related to birds, right. not reptiles. No, I I, I, knew, I know that as far as the evolution is concerned. It's just interesting. No, um, but like crocs existed during the time of the dinosaurs, yeah, and if they crocs, were dinosaurs, they probably would have died out with them. Right. That's um, why they didn't die out because crocs they're reptiles. and uh, and sharks. Were are two of the longest lasting. Yeah, sharks species. are. Even, I think that sharks are even prim more primordial. Than, yeah, uh, than I mean because everything started in the ocean. Yeah. So, you know the thing. But then again, crocodiles are sort of a water based. Yeah, they are, but they're 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 you know they can go on land and sea. Mm -hmm. Actually, there's saltwater crocodiles and freshwater crocodiles. You can. Uh, That's the, true. The Nile know. crocodile is a saltwater crocodile. Wait, I mean, does that mean that there are crocs in the ocean? I mean, in, in, or they're, in they're, bays. Right, so there's... there's. I mean, the I, Nile crocodile, which is almost extinct at this point, they, they I actually saw some when I was in Egypt. Those uh, uh, large, very large. Huge. They're the, big, they're the biggest crocs in the world. I mean, cool. at least I think so. They're like 14 feet long. That's that's fine. They're b big animals. I mean, it wasn't up close. It was from a boat. But um, 
you know, there's some there's some pretty cool animals out there. Would you wrestle a crocodile? If I'd wrestle an alligator. I, I I think I would too. An alligator, not a crocodile. I always talk about wanting wanting to have an opportunity to because alligators have their teeth um, on the inside of them. You no, know, crocs. Alligators are ornery because of their medulla oblongata. Medulla oblongata. Mama says alligators are ornery because they got all them teeth, no toothbrush. <laughs> <laughs> so bad and so good. All right, we'll leave it off on that, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed the episode. Wait, it has to, f it has to fade to the double. Oh shoot! Remember, I mean, dude, on, I'm... it's, uh, it's, it's. Oh, I guess it's getting there. I guess. It's, oh, sorry, guys. No, because look, because they have to do, um, they have to do the highlights of, of your hair. Right? Oh, so this episode's gonna be longer than thirty minutes. It's thirty-one. Thirty-one minutes. It's that, thirty-one. That something. extra minute. You know what? If I was like in a serious zero dark thirty moment, if we were like Navy SEALs and I mischarged that one, yeah, you, you, I would have screwed the whole team yeah. up. I would have scrolled. I'm like, guys, like, no, the highlights are still going in. I mean, it's it's all it's almost done for sure. But I mean, you know, it's a bad sign when the guys who are running the video are trying to get out early. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's because I'm so hungry. Like I'm I'm looking to like pass out. It's also because I just eat so much food. Yeah. I mean, but you yeah, have a lot of food the entire because, time. Mm -hmm. and well, like, you eat food because you you exercise like uh, an animal, and I need to start doing that. I need to start. Here we go. Thanks for watching, Draw Kings, yeah. everyone. I'm Pat, and I'm Evan. Talk to you later, Gators. Look for our profile pics. Yeah, for Shizzle.